We have to wash jets regularly and this robot, you know, cleans the aircraft just like you would almost drive your car through a car wash. So the biggest issue is typically corrosion when you, you know, fire the gun or just dirt and grime that you may get from um, using the aircraft or your location even gets a lot of different uh, uh, dirt and grime and things of that on it. 
and it can cause corrosion when it mixes with water in that. So keeping the aircraft clean is important to keep the aircraft together, really. The big advantage of this, and the reason this is a really big deal, is because it gives us more aircraft availability. I'd seen an estimation that it is about 150 sorties per year, which is enough to produce two more pilots in our training cycle. Typically when you wash an aircraft, it takes three to four, maybe five people to wash the aircraft, and it takes them four to six hours. With this system, it takes one person 52 minutes. It is a huge amount of savings in time, effort, and it allows us to have our maintainers in other places where we could use them to be servicing aircraft and getting other aircraft fixed. Not only that, if we're doing training or something where we're firing the gun or something and we need to do an in-between wash to keep it clean, keep it from getting corroded, we can do that as well. So it's a big manpower saving and big time saving. Each jet takes 52 minutes. They believe they can even get it faster than that. But with times like that, in the time that it takes to do one jet, we could do between four and six. It's a huge time saving and the aircraft would be ready to fly the next day instead of potentially losing them for two days. So not only does it, this system do aircraft washing, but they can adapt it to do non-destructive inspection. They can adapt it to do de-icing in areas that get a lot of ice, things like that. If you have a chemical or sea burning attack, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosive attack, and you have residue on aircraft that needs to be cleaned off, it can clean that off. So it has a lot of uses. The, the head of the system on the end of the robotic arm can be adapted to do se different, uh, several different items, different things. So. so this system is the only one in the Air Force. It is the only one that exists of its type, as far as I know, in the world. Um, and we've helped, we've worked with Wilder Systems to help innovate and, and make this happen. And we're looking forward, hopefully, to the opportunity to continue to do that in the future and really develop this and just see how far it goes because, man, it really could go far and it could really do some things for the Air Force in general, not just the 149.